Hey, what's up traders? This is update for the USD franc. So on the monthly, of course, clear downtrend and uh, there is a room for a big drop uh, below this level, right? So we still have this liquidity void, but it was uh, somehow filled a little bit in here when this black swan happens. So actually the liquidity should be just, just in here. If the positions is still there, you know, I don't know if the positions are held in here for the uh, five years but somehow as the technical sit works, right? So there is a still room to drop lower. It will of course not go down like this, but it will be doing up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, right? So it's then difficult for the uh, psychology to halt in the trade uh, simply like that. But that's what I expect in the long term and I will be looking on the shorts for the shorts on the pullbacks, right? So here actually happened the pullback on the weekly. So we can see the trend is down and we can see here was uh, some kind of the accumulation pace where many people already thought it will be, you know, the reversal, but uh, nothing like that happened. They broke the low and which has created this institutional level, right? Institutional level because this is the this is the where the most of the orders were accumulated and look what happened price broke down came back into it and we had the strong rejection here so it's actually in here right on the daily in this exact level where we can see this sharp move which can be created by just the banks not by me or you trading a couple lots uh, so uh, on the daily right so the price has reacted in here then it dropped down and we can see actually in the cot data that the banks has reported a drop in the shorts positions and now i will show you what the trick they probably did so here is a tuesday uh, when the data are reported right so what they do they drop the price down and they report the cot data and we can see that there is a drop in the longs on the franc which might could makes us think that the it should go up right because we can see that they close but what happened they reported the data on the uh, <clears throat> sorry on the tuesday wednesday thursday they dropped the price back and then on the friday they moved back into it above the previous day's uh, highs uh, where is uh, of course the liquidity and then we can see this strong rejection here right so what happened they doing these tricks to confuse you right so they filled or i'm sure that they filled the orders again right so here we can see on the four hours time frame that uh basically uh here was the data reported and they drop it moved manipulated the price up and boom strong rejection on this trend line and in this institutional level and the liquidity so what makes me uh thinks that's that makes me think that we will see the drop uh the next week because the dollar is very weak and uh this was just a trick in the cot to confuse us we know uh these tricks already and it's bearish for me in this market definitely because uh if we should go up uh for the some uh, bigger move look at this uh, weekly it's actually not it's actually not coming up uh, from nowhere you know uh this liquidity was failed so um if they want to do it they will have to bring a big uh, longs positions to bring it up uh, on the dollar and if they would do it uh and if you are the bank would you do it here no you know the liquidity is here so they need to take the price lower that's uh that's that's simply the rules of the market so i'm bearish on this one good luck bye bye